Hello, so this is another episode of our Christmas series and today I'm going to show you what I do for my door which is a Christmas stocking made in paper of course and I'm not using it really on my fireplace I just show you here how it looks like but I wanted to have him on my door because really the Christmas stockings it's not something we have here in France People don't do that. I'm not even sure I understand really well what it is. I think the Christmas stocking is something uh, which is meant to hold little presents. Let me know if it's that really. I'm not really sure I understood this purpose really well. And you have your real presents on the 25th of December. Let me know if it's that. Anyway, we don't have that at all in France. People don't have their um, Christmas stockings around their fireplace at all or just to pretend but really it's the tradition we really have. So I thought I would just add it on my door instead of a Christmas wreath which is the traditional thing you have on a door but I thought a Christmas stocking would be funny. So this is a very basic one. I didn't want to spend a long time on it. I'm totally crazy late in everything for this Christmas season in my work and really everything in my presents, absolutely everything. So I thought I wanted to go quite fast on it. So I didn't do tons of details. I recycled things I already had, which was little Christmas tree decors I didn't use anymore. So I only made a paper gingerbread man and a candy cane. That's all. That's the only decals I have added on it. And the others were already, uh, I already had them in my Christmas decor collection, if you want. The thing is, next year in the Christmas workshop, we are going to do very detailed, very sophisticated Christmas stockings because I thought it's really a funny thing to do, which can complement the other decors we have uh, around us for Christmas. Made in paper, of course, but much more sophisticated than this one. This one is a basic one, which works really well for a door. For the fireplace, I wanted to do something different. And of course, Christmas is already there, so I'm not going to do that for the uh, edi edition 2017 of the Christmas workshop, but next year we will have that. So if you are enrolled in the Christmas workshop, you will see that among the other things we are going to do like next year uh, in the curriculum, in the workshop appearing in November, next November. So I'm going to show you how I do that. It's pretty fast, pretty easy. I already painted my craft paper. It's only made in craft paper. I added a few pieces here and there of mulberry paper, but it's mainly craft paper, a bit of wire to do the little thing here, and that's all. And it's really very basic, but pretty simple. I didn't want to go into so many details as I usually go in my artwork at all. It wasn't the purpose here at all because it's meant to be on my door here, so I wanted something more simple. And the inside is totally filled with paper to make it full and I just added a bit of red paper at the top to cover the things I didn't want uh, people to see. So you see it's pretty basic, pretty simple and rather fun but the most sophisticated ones will come in the Christmas workshop next year. So for my paper stocking I will use different sort of papers I have already painted. I have a blue one, I have two other blue plain ones. I need also some white craft paper, totally plain. I have a striped one I painted, a bit of wire to finish the stocking really well, a plier, a cutting plier, a scissors, some wood glue, I only use wood glue. And here I have already prepared a gingerbread man. I'm going to have it uh, in the stocking. I have a big paper candy cane I have also made and I have a few old things I'm going to recycle there because I, they used to be on my tree in the past. Now I only have my own decor on my tree so I still have a few little things which I think will be nice in my stockings.
paper stocking is totally done now, I'm going to add my little things inside now. At the top of the stocking I have created two hooks because I wasn't really sure if I wanted to have my stocking like that or like that, you see. It creates a different position for your, for your stocking. It also depends the amount of thing you want to have in it. So I decided I will keep the two possibilities. And in case I'm really sure about one, I could always get the one I don't, don't want to use. So for my stocking, I have created a paper gingerbread man. So it's all made in paper and I'm going to add it inside. I also have a paper candy cane, which is quite big. And I'm going to recycle random Christmas decors I had. And I'm going to use my red paper here just to hide the white paper between my different ornaments. So let me know what do you do for your front door, for the Christmas decor of your front door. Uh, do you do a traditional Christmas wreath or do you do something different? So this is the last of our Christmas decor series. I still have some videos about Christmas and some vlogs and things like that till the end of December. If you are enrolled in the Christmas workshop, of course, you will have a lot of other Christmas um, ornaments and things like that coming to you next November, including some Christmas stocking, but much more sophisticated than this one. I hope you will be excited about that. I have a lot of ideas for that, so I think it's going to be really fun. And um, you can still enroll in the Christmas workshop till the 23rd of December 2017 and it's going to be closed till next year and the offer is going to be a bit different next year. So really, if you love Christmas, you love making things and if you want to have a forever access to all the new upcoming edition of the Christmas workshop, this year is the best year to enroll because I won't offer that next year. And uh, really, it's just the best. You will have a lot of new ornaments every year, including the current ornaments and the ornaments offered last year. So it's pretty intense and there are a lot, a lot of things, a lot of different techniques and a lot of possibilities, a lot of variations you can do too around all these techniques, around all these ornaments. So I hope you are going to enjoy this wonderful time of the year very much if you are celebrating it with your family. And for now, I will leave you here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, to activate maybe the notification bell at the top of the page on YouTube if you don't want to miss the next video and want to be notified when the new ones arrive. And I will leave you here. I thank you for your wonderful comments. I always like to read them. It's always my favorite moment when I upload a video just to see what you are going to think about that. And uh, yes, I thank you very much always for your support, your kind messages and your enthusiasm. And I will see you soon.